the minute I turn round, I just think to myself how lovely it was there. There didn't seem to be any flies, and now they're all over me again. Actually, I'm going to be in the sun here any second, aren't I? Good morning to you. How are you? Nice to see you. Hello, Charlie. How are you doing, mister? How is things... How are things this morning? Sorry. It's a bit of a weird way of putting it. Are you all right? Still in bed or you got out of bed? Oh, thank you for the tulip. That's a tulip. Thank you. <laughs> you still in bed? Uh, what are you doing in bed? Come on. Uh, up you get. Come on. Have you going to work today or have you got the day off? Sir, I saw you on the television last night throwing a milkshake at Nigel's Farage. That wasn't a very nice thing to do, Charlie. Jean, good morning to you. How are you? Good to see you this morning. Thank you ever so much for coming in. And Jim, good morning, Jim. Meow. <coughs> that was for the tofu cat. Thank you very much for the tofu, Jim. That's very kind of you. Uh, Jim, did you know that Charlie threw a milkshake at Nigel Farage yesterday? He was on the national news. Did you see it? You should have done. <laughs> I wish it was him. I'd be, I would have been proud of him. No, no. Everybody has a right to speak. Everybody has a right to their views. Everyone has a right to, I don't know, whatever. Amelia, good morning. How are you? Happy birthday, Amelia. Guys, it's Amelia's birthday today. So, sorry. Oh, I thought you said something over there. It's Amelia's birthday today. So, are you ready? Are you ready for this? All together now. Come on. You know you can do it. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amelia. Happy birthday to you. There you go. Stephen, thank you and good morning to you. Thank you for singing along, Charlie. Were you in bed singing with me? I'm guessing you were. <laughs> Wombi, good morning. I see you popping up my bottom there. Are you going to stay? Oh, you did. Hello. How are things down in uh, Cornwall today with all those little pixies? You are Cornwall, aren't you? I'm sure you're Cornwall. You have, you have pixies, don't you, living in your house? You're welcome, Amelia. Of course, always welcome. And Truck, thank you as well. That's from Truck. He sends happy birthday as well. So there you go. Cal, good morning to you. You're joking. It's your birthday as well, Wombi. You are kidding me. Have I got to sing it as well? Oh, my God, I've got to do it twice. Hello, Eddie. Somebody else's birthday. Here we go, then. Are you ready? I, maybe I'll... I think it should be a different jingle. There we go. I'll put that on for you, Wombi. A different jingle. What other song could I sing for Happy Let's Birthday, then? <laughs> if you've got good ideas, you do bloody live if you want to sing jazzy songs. Why don't you dance behind me? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wombi. Birthday to you. Woo! <laughs> Uh, what would be and Amelia? So, what are you doing today on your special days? What are you up to today? Warnes, hello to you. Good morning to you. Uh, what are you up to on your special days? Tell me what you're going to be doing today. So, Charlie, coffee time. It is indeed. It's coffee time with Harvey Colbrand. There you go. You found the new emoji, Charlie. So there you go. You're going to Scotland. Oh, lovely. Well done. Is it because you've got family there? Or what's the reason for going to Scotland? Good morning, Miriam. How are you this morning? Good to see you, my lovely. Uh, thank you for being here, as always. Have you got your coffee in your coffee mug? I hope so, because Miriam actually has one of our coffee mugs. She does. Wombi, you're off to a hub box later for some lunch and got family. Excellent stuff. Do you know, I, I'm going to have to be really ignorant here. What's a hub box? I have no idea what a hub box to is. Do your, uh, oh, is it to do internet? Is it? Is it really? How do you know that then? Is it? Is it? Oh, it's, <laughs> called, it's called a hub. Is it? Oh, I never knew that. Hello, Dylan. It's good morning to you. How are you? It's a nice restaurant. It's not anything really? to do with internet at all. It's just a nice restaurant that he goes to. No, I don't know what a hub box is, Charlie. I don't live in England, do I? I have no idea. Morning, Dylan. How are you? What's a hub box? Dylan, would you know what a hub box was? Uh, good morning, Shelley. 
Lovely to see you. You don't have to worry about missing the shop. That's fine. Jean, the topic of the today. Oh, my God, Jean. I don't know yet. Hub boxes, I think. You're going to see your aunt and uncle. Then I'm going up for lunch. Excellent. Hope you have a fab day, Amelia. Uh, it's very nice. I'm sure you'll love it. So, And Dylan, you're well. I'm very well, thank you, mister. Not too bad. Uh, Charlie, shut up. Yes, you do. I do not know what a hub box is. Wombie says, mister, not too bad. Uh, Charlie, shut up. Yes, you do. I do not know what a hub box is. Wombie says, might be an internet there as well. Uh -huh. So it is like a restaurant or something you go to and there's an internet. Yeah, or something like that. KR's Demon, hi to you. Good morning. Uh, you thought it was a popular thing? Maybe not. It probably is Wombi, but don't forget I don't live in the UK, so it's probably something uh, from there. I don't know, but here I have no idea what it is. Honestly, I've never heard of it before. Okay, Amelia, off you go. Make yourself look gorgeous. Have a fantastic day and tell me all about it tomorrow, all right? Uh, Dylan, your prince of a ride. Excellent stuff. Send me a photograph. Mind you, you've sent me a mock-up anyway day and tell me all about it tomorrow all right uh dylan your prince of a ride excellent stuff send me a photograph mind you you've sent me a mock-up anyway haven't you so um, they're not going to look special restaurant which has internet so charlie stop laughing honestly in serious i do not know what a hard box is i mean is it a chain of restaurants then come on tell me hello sally's eggs how are you nice to see you this morning my lovely so it's so much easier to say sally's eggs i used to, when i used to have to say sex that was awful because we all know that segs is a way of writing something naughty without spelling it in the proper way. So, uh, how are you? And when you see it, Harvey, you will say, I've been there before. Really? Hubbox? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it's a chain. I, afterwards, I'm going to look it up because I have no idea. Charlie, Google it and send it to me. Miriam, you should see my face when Matthew told me we're going back to Palmer. Are you happy? <laughs> you liked Palmer, didn't you? So, yeah, Palmer's a nice city. So, yeah, so you'll have a fabulous time. So you're pulling... Uh, have you got plans? Or you're just going to get off the ship and uh, wander around? So, te gusta tangas. No! Yo cuando, um, cuando nadar en mi piscina, siempre voy en bolas. Tangas? No. Yo quiero morena todo mi cuerpo. <laughs> Your favourite shop, Aliop. <laughs> I think there's about six of them in Palmer now, Miriam, so you'll be able to go one to another. <laughs> yeah, they're a huge, huge chain now. In Valencia, I think we have, or oh, I don't know, I, I, there must be ten Aliops, I would have thought, in Valencia. So, so go in there, spend all your money. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't wait. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hubbox is one of those that provide Wi-Fi. So Shelley is the same as Steve. She says it is a restaurant that you go and you have Wi-Fi. So there you go. Ooh, now we know. Chaos Demon, thank you very much for the heart, me, sir. That makes you the 205th member of the team. Thank you very much. Irish Celtic, uh, good morning to you. How the devil are you? And thank you, Chaos, for the team bracelets. That's very nice. Team, thank you very much. Irish Celtic, uh, good morning to you. How the devil are you? And thank you, Chaos, for the team bracelets. That's very nice. Getting cut off. How can it not reach to that box on the windowsill? I think I'm back. Because you've moved it? No, I haven't, I don't think. So, anyway. Am I here? Oh, yes, I am. Uh, how's my brother? Yeah, he's fine. I just, uh, somebody else just asked me the same. They said that he's leaving. Charlie, I'm back. I don't know what's wrong this morning. Look, that's my internet, which is for the garden. Let's turn it round. Maybe it has to face me. I don't know. So I'll see if I can go back and sit down. I don't want to walk round and talk. No, he is fine, yes. He's absolutely fine. But I have no idea what this new thing is about him leaving TikTok. I mean, he's only done it about 30 times already, hasn't he? He's so, made more comebacks than bloody share. He has, yeah. So, uh, we will see. Um, when you're back in the UK, Irish Static, I don't know, I haven't got anything booked, uh, but I have got to go back because I have got to go back and see family. So, at some point, I will be going back, but I'm not quite sure where, when. More comebacks than share, love it, someone says. That's George Begun. 
<laughs> uh, he's fine, I think. He's feeling very witty this morning, Black Cat, as you can hear. He's um, decided that, uh, yes, he's going to throw in the odd line of wit. Uh, Charlie, there is a different meaning of hub box. Charlie, I, I don't think... I have no idea what this is all about. I have no idea. So, and we're meant to have a subject of the I day. I think Miriam's got a hub box. Ah, uh, maybe she has. I where Matthew plugs in his USB. Maybe that's what it is. Are you sure it's not where you plug your USB into then, as the Silver Fox says? Why isn't the Silver Fox doing appearances anymore? I'll ask. Because he's ugly. He says because he's too ugly. So we can't argue with that. Hey, Scotty boy, thank you ever so much for the... Um, I don't know what that's called, but thank you. That's very kind. And Chaos as well for the team bracelets. I appreciate that a lot. Because you know what happens with team bracelets, don't you? Hey, Scotty boy, thank you very much. Um, and Scotty boy, thank you very much. <laughs> and you know what happens with team bracelets, don't you? It helps push me up in the weekly wankings. So if you want to get me up in the weekly rankings, you need to give me heart. Oh, I can't do this. Last time I did that, I then got taken down because they said I was begging for gifts. And I'm not begging for gifts. It just helps me get higher up in the uh, thingy. Uh, show us your my mate. He's over there, but he's so ugly, he might crack my camera. You see? There he is over there. There you go. So, uh, CJX, thoughts on someone's boxing. Um, this is like the interview I did on William and the Magic Box, isn't it? Where he said to me, you've, I'm going to ask you a question. You've got to answer just with one word. Okay, so thoughts on Simon's boxing. Crap. Any other questions you've got? That's the subject we could do. He's fit, Irish Celtic says. Does he need glasses? But he's, he's, no, oh, sorry, it says Irish Celtic, the Irish Celtic says, my guide dog says he's fit. Ah, oh, right. Ah, <laughs> yes, right. yeah, it wasn't Irish Celtic, it was his dog it's said it. Dog, it. Yeah, yeah, so, Black Cat says he's gorgeous, Blind Black Cat said he's gorgeous, so, Aww. so that's, uh, that's rather nice. Weekly wankings. I did not see J1X. I said weekly rankings. Watch my mouth. Rankings. They get the gifts, the team bracelets and the heart me, gets me higher in the weekly wankings. You know how it works. I'm in League B5 at the moment. Um, <laughs> hey, Chaos Demon. Thank you ever much for the subscription, sir. I appreciate that a lot. That means you have become an official VIB. <laughs> <laughs> you have become a VIB. Yes, you have. Uh, you now get access to the special emojis, which are just for the VIBs. That's a very important there. You also now have mod powers, god powers as I call them. Molly, you now have the powers, man. You have the powers. Uh, thank you very much. And say thank you for the heart puff. That's very kind of you. And the ice creams, which I now have to do like this. Harvey, look. I'm looking, Charlie. I am looking. Eddie. Hello, Eddie. How are you? Tell the silver fox hello. There we go. I've told him. I don't know hello. if he will reply. And did everyone see my workplace on the news? Yeah, I saw it, Charlie. No, I didn't see it. I saw uh, where you live on the news, the city, and I saw you throwing that milkshake at Farage. So look at you, Mr. Chaos Demon. Look at you. You now have God powers as well. There you go, sir. You are a Harvey Colburn God. My God, man, my God. <laughs> you also get access to subscriber-only videos, subscriber-only lives, um, exclusive gifts, emojis, everything. You are a special person. You are, there's 10 of you. Aha, uh -huh. you can also come into the special WhatsApp group if you like. You just send me a message after the live and tell me as to whether you want an invitation to the WhatsApp group. Oh, my God, now my dog's being sick. Oh, that's nice. Anyone want to see? No, you don't. Charlie, no. Who? You, mister. Uh, Irish mate, do you offer Airbnb? Yeah. 
Uh, yes, we're on Airbnb and we're on Mr. B&B as well. So we're on the gay version of Airbnb and also on the... You can see the little thingy where you get to stay, I think. No, you can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can. Just about there. Look, that's the little casita that we rent out on Airbnb. Uh, Miriam, what? Uh, who? Who, what, where is sub? <laughs> Chaos Demon has subbed, Charlie. We have a new subscriber. Chaos Demon. Uh, is the group G-rated? Yes, it is, Black Cat. It is very G-rated because we have young ladies, we have heterosexual people, and it's a good, good mix of people now. So none of this where it's just sending out dirty photos all the time. <laughs> Chaos as well. I need a name. If you don't mind, I'd like to refer to you by a name if I could. I do sort of get, I do know my followers' names, even if they use different profile names, because I do like to refer to them as, um, as you know, as people as opposed to things like demons so uh scotty it's like evil king i know his name scott scott thank you very much for the flame hus scott where's your vib badge gone then you were you're a vib or is that over a month ago maybe it is i don't know george uh, uh <laughs> you have a very dirty mind george a completely... But you should see the shadow that it throws on the ground. That's funnier. <laughs> uh, Callum. Hello, Callum. And you're 18. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear you're 18. Callum. Hello and welcome. Thank you ever so much. Callum. Callum. I try to remember your name now. Chaos Callum. Callum Chaos. CC Callum Chaos. There we go. Yeah, I think it's logged into my head. But if I get it wrong at first, uh, you know, first two or three times, uh, please forgive me. <laughs> George, you should. If you actually go through my videos and look back, I think it was about a year ago now, I did a video of the shadow from that umbrella. <laughs> you check it out. Hi, hey, Scotty, you have got your VIB back on now. What's that all about? Then you didn't have it on. It wasn't there just now. Honestly, I'm not uh, joking. It said, Evil King sent flame hearts and you didn't have the VIB badge. How strange. It goes to show, doesn't it, that the system plays around. So, uh, it, you scared for your life. You, you vaguely remember him, Miriam. <laughs> Charlie, thank you for the balls. Charlie likes a nice couple of balls in the morning, don't you, Charlie? Yep. And hello, Mr. Ricky. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? Good to see you this morning. We have no real theme today, have we? Nobody has sparked up. Hey, Charlie has sent me two balls now. Three balls. Four balls. Charlie, how many balls have you got? Gigs. Gilbert, thank you for the heart, me, sir. That's very kind of you. Charlie, how many balls do you like playing with? You can only play with two at a time, you know. You can juggle two. Gonna anybody? That's a good theme of today. We're going to talk about balls, okay? But like, not those type of balls. Hello, Matthew. Good morning to you, Matthew, the one and only. There's only one Matthew for me and Miriam. Ah, how are you? Good to see you, No, no Antonia. Thank you for sharing the live. That's very kind of you. Uh, I'm very well, thank you, Ricky. Uh, very, very well indeed. Ricky, we're going to be talking about balls today. Juggling, in fact. This is the question I have for you all. Who can juggle and who can't? Miriam, you collect giant marbles, do you? Actually, they're lovely, actually. The old antique ones. You can get some really nice ones. Eh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. So, anyway, can you juggle your marbles? <laughs> have you ever lost your marbles, Miriam? That's another question. Have you ever lost your marbles completely and you've just woken up in the morning and for the life of you, you've lost all your marbles? It happens to me quite often. <clears throat> I don't even have any real ones, but quite often I wake up and say, oh, I've lost my marbles today. <laughs> you've lost your marbles a couple of times. It's probably due to frustration. Well, yeah, I, I do get it. Jack, good morning to you, Jack. Thank you for the heart, me, sir. Good to see you this morning. How the devil are you? Thank you very much. I love all the heart me's. I know they're gifts and they cost money, but heart me's and team bracelets uh, push me up in the weekly wanking. So I'm always very, very happy to receive them. In fact, where am I in the weekly wankings? I'm still in B5. Oh, way down at the moment. 
so way down. But never mind, we get up there. I mean, if you think I started in League D5 and now I'm up in the B Leagues, I'm not doing too bad, am I? No. Uh, right, Shelley, you can only juggle two at a time. Any more than that is chaos and chase them everywhere. Yeah, Shelley, see, I'm okay. I can juggle them, but they have to be in even numbers. So I can juggle two with one hand. I can juggle another two with the other hand. Juggle jiggle two with my feet. Uh, jiggle four with my feet because I've got two feet. But actually, you know, when you get an odd one, it really freaks you out, doesn't it? You know, when you go in for a juggle and you've got an uneven number of balls and you think to yourself, oh my God, that's a bit odd. Or if there's three balls, that's really odd. So, but yeah, yeah, no. Who else can juggle balls? And if you can juggle balls, how many can you juggle at once? I want to know. My mum can juggle five. Yeah, I've seen my mum juggle five balls. And I'm being serious now. I'm not even being slightly dirty. <laughs> she does. She has to have them tossed. <laughs> this sounds really disgusting, doesn't it? But she has to have them tossed at her. So she'll stand there. One by one, you'll throw her a ball. And you can imagine my mum. I don't think she could probably do it now because um, she has a bit of problems with a little bit of arthritis in one of her hands. But before, she was the world's greatest ball juggler. I actually think that's where I got it from. <clears throat> You're off today, Jack. Excellent stuff. So you should have a good day. Come down and spend the day by the pool. <laughs> Matthew, your dad has stressed me out about the new booking in system with Jet2 for the luggage. Why, Matthew? There won't be anything stressed out. Jet2 flies everybody everywhere there will be nothing complicated about it uh just check out the weight regulations and as long as you don't go over the weight regulations there will be no issue don't worry about it shelly you've tried those metal chinese balls you roll them in one hand yes that good aren't they that's like stress relieving i always find rolling balls in my hand relieves stress so, Miriam, do you find that as well? If you're really stressed, get hold of a couple of your big marbles and give them a good roll. I think you'll find it really helps de-stress you. Uh, Christopher, good morning to you. How are you? Uh, nice to see you. Callum, where are you going then? Looking for you. Where are you off to, Callum? You're off on holiday as well. What part of the world are you off to? And can you join me for coffee, Carl? Of course you can. You've only just got to pop round. You've got to be here every day between 9.30 and 10.30, more or less. And, of course, you can join me for a coffee. So what part of Spain are you going to, Callum? Because, as you know, I live here. I live in Spain. So what part are you going to? Alicante. You're just going to be down the road then. So I live in Valencia. Alicante is about an hour away on the train. So ah, you'll be able to smell me. You won't have to watch the lives here. You'll be able to hear me. <laughs> in fact... <clears throat> not when you're there, because you're going next week. In fact, I'm in Alicante, guys, on the 2nd of September. I'm going to be in Alicante, and if anybody's likely to be there, which is hardly unlikely, I guess, I'll be at Benidorm Pride this year. Miriam and Matthew, it's all booked now. I cannot get back to the UK for any Prides, uh, because every date there's a pride on I want to go to I've got a visitor here in my house so the only dates I've got free where I can sort of be among some Brits is in September so September I am going to Benidorm Pride have you been before then Callum to Benidorm Pride I mean, I've, ne I've never been to... I mean, I've lived here for 25 years, but I've never been. I normally go to Valencia Pride, obviously, uh, which I probably still will because that's in a couple of weeks' time. But I've never been to Venice on one, so... Uh, Pitchy. Uh, your mum and dad are in Alicante. Ah, go if you can, Pitchy. It's wonderful. I love Alicante. It's a wonderful city. If out, I would never leave Valencia because I love the size of Valencia because Valencia is a lot bigger city and there's a lot more to do in Valencia. But if I had to move, if someone said, you've got to move from Valencia, you can pick anywhere else in Spain to live, but you have to leave Valencia, then I'd probably go to Alicante. So, so. Miriam, you miss us. Oh, I know. I would have loved to, but it just hasn't been possible. It's amazing. I just, between now and September, I've always got somebody here. I mean, it's lovely because I'm seeing family, etc. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare, really. I just can't get away. And um, I'm going to see uh, Patrick in Sweden as well at the end of last couple of days of August. Um, then 
I've got my brother here, uh, the end of July into August. I've got um, my mum and dad are threatening to come in July. And, and it's just impossible. So, Mark Harris, hello to you. Not Malaga. I like Malaga as well, but I wouldn't want to live in Malaga. I've got a friend who's in Malaga at the moment. He moved there from Valencia, and he's moving back to Valencia tomorrow. Uh, he's been in Malaga now for six months, and he can't stand it any longer. Not because it isn't a beautiful place to live, but he says the people aren't very nice. I don't know. He's Spanish. Originally, he's from Madrid, and he moved to Valencia, fell in love with Valencia, thought he would try his luck in Malaga, and doesn't like it. So... We will see. I'm going to go and see him next week, I guess. Uh, Callum, hopefully I can be a, I can able to stay in September. That would be good. And then we could meet. <laughs> I always take if, uh, any of my VIBs, if, or anybody really, but a VIB I would obviously go out of my way to meet up with. Thank you, Ricky. Um, but if you're ever in my town or I'm in your town in the UK, uh, just drop me a line and uh, we meet up and have either a drink, a glass of wine, a coffee or whatever t tickles your fancy, really. So, uh, uh, Jack, you wouldn't go back that way. No, you're the same, aren't you, Jack? You've moved away from that area as well. So, so yeah, definitely. I mean, this this area is definitely... The people are friendlier for me. See, but I've never lived down there, so I don't know. I lived in Ibiza for many years. And to be honest with you, the locals there aren't particularly friendly either. They're very much... the Ibiza exists because of tourism. And yet they resent tourists. So you'll go into a shop and there'll be a group of Ibithankos in a shop, all chatting, happily talking in their own language because they speak Ibithanko. And you, a foreigner will walk in and they'll stop and you might get a grunt when they serve you. Um, you might get a gratias when you pay. But they're not very friendly, to be honest with you. Genedita, hello to you. Yes, you're calling my name. Hello to you. Good to see you this morning. Oh, squibbles. Callum, you found the squibbles. <laughs> <coughs> Jack, yeah, the people are nice here in Valencia as well. In Albertheta. I've got fam I'm not family, near family that live in Albertheta. So... Um, and Callum, you love squirrels. I love squirrels as well, Callum. And do you know why? What do you know? What me and squibbles have got in common? Nuts. Yep, we both adore nuts. So, Callum, I'm guessing you're a nut lover too. Oh, Christopher, thank you very much for showing off the emojis. Uh, D Large, good morning to you, sir. Nice to see you today. And Patrick, hello, Patrick. Thank you very much for the heart, me, sir. Good to see you this morning, Mr. Patrick. Mr. Patrick, we have a new VIB, a very important bear has joined us today. And that's Callum. That's Chaos Demon. He's just given me a rose now. But that's Callum. Callum, Callum uh, Christopher, uh, Patrick, who's Mr. Anderson, uh, they're all long-time VIBs. Uh, make him welcome. Make Callum welcome. So. Uh, Genedita, wow. Hello. Sonka, hello. How are you? Good to see you this morning. Thank you for the rose, my lovely. So there you go. Chaos. Chaos is chatting to you all, guys. There. Jack, the only place I've moved to now other than Spain is Copenhagen. Ah, oh, really? So yeah, I like I'm I'm being Copenhagen on my way to see Patrick. Um I'm going there in Oh Patrick, when is it? <coughs> Last few days of August, isn't it? I've got a sore throat now. <coughs> I know I come back the second of September anyway. Uh Patrick, you've been talking to a phone customer service twice today. Now they've disabled your SIM card, so I'm using oh dear. So um, I'm sure it'll be sorted, Patrick. I'm sure they're sorted out for you. Sonka, you're in London. Good morning. How are you? I know you're from London. You've told me before. Denmark is a country that has it right personally. Obviously, I haven't been to Denmark for years and years, Jack. The last time Steve and I went there, we were about... Oh God, how old were we? We went to Denmark, about 25? Don't know. Don't know. I was very young. You was very young. I th it must be 25 years ago, isn't it? We weren't living in Spain, were we, when we went there? No, yeah, so I don't know what it's like now, but it was. We loved it when we went, so it was very nice. Uh, Patrick, it's because they can't get paid as I don't get your new card yet. Well, you cancelled it. <laughs> you knew the problems that would come if you overreacted and cancelled it. <laughs> 
<laughs> they must change the invoice, but then I must pay first. Well, that's what phone companies are like. <laughs> if you don't pay, they cut your service off. And if you cancelled your card, then <laughs> it's not funny, but it is. <laughs> but it gives you something else to worry about today, won't it, mister? It gives you something else to spend your time on. <laughs> Uh, Jackie's doing fine. Yeah, he is fine. He's over there de a cat at the moment. He does all the nice. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to change it. Yeah, we'll change to another company. As soon as you get it online again, then change to another company because you can take your number with you then, can't you? Uh, Lucy, good morning to you. Uh, Shelly, I bet squirrels are good. Squibbles are very good at juggling, Shelly. I've seen squibbles in my garden doing a circus act. You get one squibble at one end of the garden, you get one squibble at the other end of the garden, and they toss nuts to each other like a good one. I tell you, they're very, very clever. So, Lucy, estoy muy bien, gracias, Lucy. ¿Y tú cómo estás, mi amor? ¿Qué tal hoy? Uh, they are cheeky. They are cheeky little squibbles. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that squibble online, the um, one where he's got the biggest nuts you've ever seen? Have you seen that one? <laughs> I didn't know squibbles had such big nuts. Patrick, glad to hear it again. Patrick, a big cheer for Patrick, guys, because Mr. Anderson has woke up gay again. Woo! He's always very wor worried that he's not going to wake up gay, but he has. Uh, Jack, have I recovered from Sunday? Yeah, I have. It only took me the day. Thank you, Matthew. We're getting all my emojis used today. Hey, Jackie hasn't recovered from Sunday. That's <clears throat> why he's still got a sore throat. <laughs> You've seen the picture several times, Miriam. Yes, it's um, it's amazing, isn't it? I never knew that they did. Rats will work together to steal eggs. One rat will lay on its back and the other rat pulls it along. Really? I never knew that. <laughs> but Jack, uh, Jack, I was going to say then. I was meant to say rats, but I'm going to keep it with Jack. But then Jack is very intelligent. And if Jack likes a nice couple of eggs, he goes for them, don't you, Jack? <laughs> Being that Jack speaks some Spanish, he knows exactly what I'm talking about. Charlie, what, where, who, when? Charlie. Charlie is another VIB. We have lots of the VIBs in today. Who's beside me, Genadita? The Silver Fox. He's over there. Look, if you look at some of my videos, you'll see him in the video. Look, you see his happy little face over there? Look at him smiling away. Doesn't he look happy? Oh, isn't he cute and happy? So, <laughs> not so many in here now. We've got you, Mr. Anderson. Uh, we've got Jack. We've got Christopher. We've got Charlie. We've got Callum. We've got Matthew. Um, yeah, there is a Miriam as well. Uh, we have got a few in. There are a few here. Vicky, hello, how are you? You're in Tenerife, and are you loving it? I bet you are. Are you loving it? Hello, Silver Fox, says Miriam. Hello, Miriam. Hello, Miriam. He smiles for you, Miriam. He doesn't smile for anybody else. Jay Holland, good morning to you. Ah, uh, you meant yesterday it was 50 plus. Oh, I'm sorry, Patrick. Yeah, yesterday it was. It was here when earlier. It sort of flicks up and down to be honest i tell you what happened to me today here patrick we had about 80 odd in the live and i lost connection and the minute i lost connection then it didn't come back for some reason the amount of people so i don't know how it works if you let lose connection i suppose they don't stick it out again on the fyps do they i don't know so uh, he's very well, I think. He's got to have his treatment today because yesterday the uh, pharmaceutical department didn't have the drug ready, so he's got to go back today to have it administrated today. Jenadita, thank you for the time. Thank you for your time, my lovely. It's you I should be thanking for spending some time with me. So thank you. Oh, the mug has come. Excellent stuff, Jack. Excellent. And Callum, thank you, sir. Thank you for the ice creams. That's very kind. And the fireworks were excellent, Vicky. Excellent. Did you see the video I did or not? If you missed it, guys, if you missed the live that I did on Sunday with the fireworks from Valencia, you can go to my YouTube channel, The Bear Chronicles. Or even if you don't want to watch it, go to The Bear Chronicles on YouTube and subscribe to it for me. Just do me a favour and subscribe. But there you'll see the live that I did on Sunday because now what we're doing is each live, every live is now reposted on YouTube. It's a very clever thing. It's all automatic. I don't have to do anything. Just downloads from there, downloads there, uploads to there, and it's there. All I have 
to do is a uh, thumbnail for the page, front page. Oh, it's all very good. I've become all tech, all techy and um, and well. And uh, yes, as I'm getting older, I'm getting more techy. So, Jack, I was about to say something to Jack, and I forgot what I was going to say. Well, I was saying about him liking a cup, nice huevos. He likes huevos in the morning. But I can't remember what I was going to say about Jack. Now, I completely lost it. Patrick, what was I going to say? M Short, hi to you, my lovely. How are you this morning? Good to see you. Ah, the mug. The mug. That's it. Jack got his uh, coffee time with Harvey Colburn mug this morning. Are you pleased with it, Jack? What's it like? Oh, you got to collect it yet from the mail office. Excellent stuff. So mine should be here in the next few days as well. So hopefully, coffee time in the morning, we can all start having it and our coffee's out of the same mugs. Charlie, what's up, Charlie boy? Charlie, you got a mug coming uh, tomorrow, haven't you, that I did for Charlie? Uh, I designed a mug for Charlie for his dad because it's Father's Day at the weekend. And Charlie did feel that uh, his dad wouldn't appreciate a mug saying, I love big cockerels. So I designed a special mug just for his dad. So, uh, Jay Holland, you can come whenever you like. It's an open invitation. So it's an open invitation. Anybody can come. Uh, Patrick, you've got poor Wi-Fi today. So, yeah, mine's a bit iffy today as well because I'm sat so far away from the house. I'm sat in a different position. Where I normally sit, I sit underneath the window of my bedroom where I've got a router and it's normally a lot better connection. So, yeah, that is quick, Jack. I have to say, it is really quick. So, because I've been waiting longer for mine to come straight from the supplier than you waited being sent from your dad. So it is really weird. I should have got him to send you two and you could have just brought one down for me. It would have been quicker. <laughs> Charlie, yes, tell me when it comes, won't you, Charlie? I think it's going to come tomorrow. Uh, when I put the tracking in originally, it said tomorrow, Thursday. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that's like. 543, good morning to you. How are you? You got your mum something? Yeah, show me later. It's, uh, it's not Mother's Day, Charlie. Jay Holland, thank you for the follow, sir. Whereabouts are you, Jay Holland? Uh, are you in Holland? Oh, is, are you in Holland or are you just got that as your profile name? So, Patrick, you're in hospitals. Ah, uh, yeah. It's the same here. I think it's the amount of people that are connected to it, isn't it? So, uh, Caleb, how long have I lived in Valencia? I've lived in Spain for 25 years. Okay, it's complicated this. I lived in Spain for 25 years, 15 years in Valencia and 10 years, no, 15 years in Ibiza, and 10 years in Valencia, and for five years, I had like, we had like a crossover period, so we'd be in Ibiza in the summer, and Valencia in the winter, so yeah, permanently in uh, Valencia for about six or seven years, I suppose, but in Spain, 25 years. Dawn, good morning to you, my lovely, thank you ever so much for the follow, where are you from? And morning sunshine, Dawn, do you have morning sunshine or not? Catalin Stevens, good morning. Thank you very much for the follow. Where are you from? And Jay Holland, you're from Belfast. Ah, excellent stuff. That's still somewhere I haven't been to and I desperately want to go to. 543, your name is Payback. Okay, I shall refer to, try to refer to you as Payback. Don't you have a real name I could refer to you as? Because I'm let, just as unlikely to remember Payback as I am to remember 543. Uh, Dawn, you're in Somerset, my lovely. Ah, oh, Dawn be from no, Somerset. Oh, she she be from Somerset, she be. She be from Somerset and she's looking after her cows. She's got to go off and milk her cows this morning, haven't you, Dawn? She's from Froome. She's from Froome in Somerset. We know Froome, don't we? <laughs> we used to pass through Froome when we used to go home. <laughs> Christopher, thank you. Christopher says it's a perfect accent. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, oh, yeah. But Silver Fox says he prefers Wookie Owl. Have you been up Wookie Owl recently, Dawn? <laughs> Dawn says she's a rich, originally from Stratford upon Avon and no cows here. And the accent, she hasn't got. Oh, he, and I'm calling you a she as well, Dawn, I think. Am I correct? Oh, I don't know. What gender, Dawn? You have to tell me. Should I be referring to you? He, she. Uh, no cows here. No, you are she. I, I Dawn. It could be dawn because it's morning. Oh, I always fuck up, I do. When it comes to genders, I screw up straight away. This is why I do prefer just to use they and there. <laughs> dawn, yes, Wookiee-o a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, she went up Wookiee-o. 
so. Did you take part in the cheese rolling? Oh, yeah. Did you do the cheese rolling? <laughs> Shelly, it started house stoning. Oh, you are kidding. It's June and you've got house stones. That's crazy, isn't it? You was a woman last time you looked. Oh, that's okay. Well, you never know now, Dawn, do you? you I mean, you must know where I'm coming from. I make the error so the many times. If you don't use it, it can seal up overnight. <laughs> Just ignore him. He's been so rude. Uh, Young, thank you very much for the heart, me, sir. And how are you? Good to see you this morning. Dawn says she hears me. I know. It is difficult. And I've done it before. I've automatically... Cause a, you either go by the profile yeah. name, or B, you go by the profile photo. But neither one can be um, neither one can be correct anymore. Uh, so I tend to use they and their until someone confirms their gender. <laughs> uh, Dawn, yours is sealed up. You're fifty three. Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> oh, Dawn, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> And Steve, behave yourself, Charlie says. Behave. Uh, Callum, thank you for the uh, um, the tofus. Thank you very much for the tofus and the rose. That's very kind of you. And thank you for liking the live, guys. Look, we've done really well today. You've all been whacking your screen with your bits and pieces, haven't you? We're on 10.4k uh, lives. Thank you very much. That helps me get up in the uh, weekly wanking, so I appreciate that a lot. And as I always say... Uh, payback. Have I got your name right this time? Payback. And yours. Of course, yours is healed up as well. Uh, so, see, uh, payback, are you, are you, uh, what gender are you, payback? See, I don't know. From your profile name, I don't know if what gender you are either. Yours healed up with World War II ever, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, Charlie, what did I say to you? What do you mean, everyone? I don't know what's everyone talking about, Charlie. Everyone's talking about their bits and pieces healing up because it's not they're not getting used. Uh, you're a lady, payback. Okay, you're Pat. Okay, that's better. I just refer to you as Pat. Five four three is Pat. You might have to remember me a couple of times because I'm not uh, always remembering. Tommy, how am I this morning? I'm very well, thank you very much. Yeah, overflowing, <laughs> overflowing. Uh, the dogs have just seen some cats off. Are you all right, Tommy? Good to see you again this morning. Nice to see you. Pat, yep. Yeah. See, if I keep referring to you, every time I see 543 and I say Pat, I will remember. Free coffee. I need another coffee, Eddie. Go and make me one. So they sent in an expedition team and they've never come back out. Did they have miners' lights on dawn? Because you should never let anyone up there without a miner's light. That's why they can't find their way back out because it's so dark in there. They're fighting through the cobwebs. I tell you, it tickles. Oh, no. Do you know when you said that, it's made me clench. It's, <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Uh, Tommy... Uh, looks lovely by you. It is lovely. It's going to be a lovely day, I think. I'm going to get a bit hot at the minute because the sun's just decided to hit my uh, face. I might have to move a little bit, but oh, yeah. but we're nearly come to the end of the day. Oh, going into the end. Move a little bit, but oh, yeah. but we're nearly come to the end of the day. Oh, going into the end. Go on pause. Or do I just do it here? Oh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, they're looking for the Nazis' gold tree. Oh, wouldn't it be good if they found it up there, though, Dawn? Really, it would be good, wouldn't it? Because you'd think it would be all yours now. Yours is no comment. Yeah, exactly, Charlie. We don't want to know about yours. Yours is always open. Open for business. You've actually got an open and close sign on it, yours. You just flick it over in the morning, put open, and then off you go. Uh, good morning, Patrick. Good morning to you. Uh, the sun is out there, Pat. Excellent stuff. <laughs> You've got to behave yourselves this morning. You know how clean and innocent I am. I'm never naughty. Ever. Am I, Charlie? I'm never, ever naughty. So, what shall I do, guys? Shall I go on pause? We do. We go on pause. Okay, it's good because you don't want to come to the bathroom with me, so I'll pause the live while I'm in there.
Do you know, I was just thinking while I was in there, okay, yeah, I was just thinking while I was in the bathroom, wouldn't it be awful if I only thought I'd paused uh, the live, but in fact, you could hear everything. That would have been awful. Can you imagine that, Charlie? If I'd gone into the bathroom there and it hadn't paused, and in fact, you could hear absolutely everything. That would have been awful. Do you know, I think that's the first time I've ever done a live and I've had to go to the bathroom during the live. Mm, I think that should go down in history, don't you? <laughs> You'd have gone, Miriam says. Good. <laughs> it happened to a Swedish politician. Lovely. <laughs> I might have done Black Cat. I might have done. And at the time when I did, afterwards, I thought to myself, God, and I looked at my phone, it said pause. It said on the screen, pause, no one can see you. And it said on the screen, pause, no one can see you. And I thought to myself, but can they hear me? It says they can't see me, but can they hear me? That's very true, Shirley. When you've got to go, you've got to go. And I often think about that. I was watching the debate last night. Did any of you watch the debate last night? I don't normally talk about politics. It's not something that I cover, but it was quite fun because I thought I was going to have a punch-up, to be honest with you. But did anyone see the debate last night? And I was watching that. Uh, did I find it okay? Yeah, Dawn, I did. But I'm a bit like you, really. It's so unused. And I thought, oh... Oh, and why am I getting a funny look from over there? It's like, I very rarely use it anymore, Dawn. It's sort of like, yeah, it's just like a spare part. Are you heard us? Me weeing, you didn't. Do not lie. <laughs> Pat, you would have had a look. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on there. What am I saying? Ah, oh, yes, and I was watching the debate last night. Yes, you need to pay attention, Miriam. I was watching, I heard me fart. You didn't, don't. You're going to embarrass me now. Christopher says he didn't hear anything. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Horse! <laughs> anyway, why don't you, yeah, we heard everything. You didn't. Don't you start telling me those type of stories. Anyway, what I was trying to say, I was watching the debate last night, the, uh, the master debate, the master the what do you call it master what do they call that thing that was on last night master bait or something the master debate the debate master debate the gen the election debate i don't know what it's called but i watched it last night i mean it should have been called the master bait because they're right a couple of wankers to be honest the debate the gen the election debate i don't know what it's called but i watched it last night i mean it should have been called the master bait because they're right a couple of wankers to be honest do what would you do uh, what would you do if you stood up there being interviewed like that? You're on national television and you're absolutely dying for a week. You'd just have to wet yourself, wouldn't you? So you'd just have to wee. You'd have to. So, Pat, they are, they are aren't they? Aren't they both? So you heard a rumour a politician told the truth once. I know. So many backhanded favours going on. And I did, did any of you actually watch it? I mean, I'm going from joking now to serious. Did you watch it? Because I... Um, don't like, uh, but, no, I don't want to go to my political uh, side, but you probably imagine I'm, I'm not uh, Tory in any way whatsoever. Um, but I don't know either. It's a bit like the situation you've got in the United States as well, isn't it? And who would you vote for there? Say you're in the United States and you have to vote for someone who could drop dead any second because he's so old, or you've got another one who's a criminal and a complete and utter liar. And we are in a difficult situation. We've got the same sort of problem in the UK, haven't we? You've got Farage out there now as well, who is like Britain's version of Trump, um, who basically is now selling his new party on the same shout as he sold Brexit. Oh, it's uh, amazing. Chris Malone, good morning to you. How are you? The woman got on your nerves. She wasn't good at controlling it, was she, Shelley? She wasn't good at controlling them. They really, really o overspoke her. I, I, I felt sorry for her. So, Dawn, they are always so old. You need... See you, Miriam. You take care. Have a lovely day, all right? Got a feeling Farage is going to be probably... Yeah, I'm scared about that, Jack. Definitely. So, yeah, we will see, won't we? We will see. So, see how it all goes. He was uh, extremely popular and I'm a celebrity too. I believe you have to be 35 before you can rub, run for president in the UK. Oh, do you? In the US, Christopher, is that true? I mean, 35, I understand that a little bit. 
uh, because you do need some experience in life, don't you? But not... How old is Biden? 85 or something? And I'm sure he's a lovely person. I'm sure his grandkids love him. Um, but I just think he's... I mean, imagine if he sat at his desk and he falls asleep and plops on his desk and he headbutts the red button and nukes the whole world. Who knows? Or worse, he dies at his desk. He wouldn't have to worry, would he? So, <laughs> uh, your dad was telling you everything he knows what's the new part of reform in. The big thing again, Jack, isn't it? Immigration. I mean, that's what Farage sold Brexit on. Uh, if you vote out of Europe, then immigration will stop. It hasn't. Obvious reasons, because the people that are going into the Britain that the Brits don't want there don't come from Europe. <laughs> All you've done is stop the immigration of the kind you want. So that's what e coming out of EU uh, solved. It stopped all good immigration. So now Farage is like, well, actually, that didn't work. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my own party where I'm going to do it. But I want to know what's he going to do. What's he going to do? Set up like guns on the beach and shoot them as they arrive on the beaches. I don't know. So, uh, Doran, but I love or hate him. I think he's uh, trying to make a difference. I guess so, but it's a little bit... Chris, thank you very much. See, I should be running for uh, government, shouldn't I? Uh, Patrick, I hope they get fresher blood to choose from, not two dinosaurs. I know, that's it, isn't it, Patrick? Awful. It is awful. Callum, thank you for the roses, sir. And Dawn, you have two years if lucky. It's OK, but my point is this. What do you have two years? What's up, my lovely? Tell us if you, if you feel you want to. So, uh, Chris, are you still on Barry Island? No, I've moved back. Look, I'm by, I'm, I'm, today I'm in Bognor Regis. I've moved, I, I've left the Barry Island uh, Butlins. I'm now in Bognor. I've moved to Bognor. I didn't like Barry Island. I'd much prefer it here in Bognor. It's Barry Island uh, Butlins. I'm now in Bognor. I've moved to Bognor. I didn't like Barry Island. I'd much prefer it here in Bognor. Home yet? Oh no! I live in I live in some old shit hole. I do. My I live just in the shadow of a nuclear power station. So, <laughs> That's <actually> true. <laughs> yeah, there is a nuclear power station not far from here. So, uh, Pat, it is lovely. I am very very lucky. Yes, uh, Nick, you've been to Barry. There isn't much to do. Well, you got uh, you have got Butlins there, Nick. So you can't complain really. <laughs> Patrick, deja vu, deja vu, exactly. Yeah. Uh, they should work together, exactly. Uh, they might sort the country out, but they never will. Do you, I mean, that last night was uh, laughable, wasn't it, when all they could talk about was the tax. Uh, Rishi, all he could talk about was the tax. Kept saying, yeah, but you're going to raise tax by 2,000. You're going to raise by tax by 2,000. Things have to be paid for. You can't have everything, I'm afraid. I mean, I know everyone financially is difficult, but I can tell you a pound a week on your tax... A pound a month on your tax isn't going to make a lot of difference to your lifestyles. And yet a pound a month on everybody's tax could actually sort out the NHS. And I don't think there's many people that would say, I can't find an extra pound per month to sort out the NHS. But all they talk about is cutting tax. And if you cut tax, it's like anything, isn't it? You, if you cut your earnings, you have to spend less. If a government cuts, it, cuts its tax, it has to spend less. The services go down in quality. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, good morning, Richard. How are you? Good to see you this morning. Uh, Dawn, I've missed that. You have a tumour, adrenaline, cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Dawn. Um, that's very sad. So It's a, something which uh, we live with in our household as well. Um, all my regulars do know, so... Um, uh, yeah, my partner as well has cancer, uh, but he has had it for 10 years now and he has to have chemotherapy every six months. So you have six months of chemotherapy, six months off, and that's just enough to keep it frozen all the time. Um, yeah, and he's in the on time at the moment. He's actually he's got to go into hospital later on this morning. He mustn't forget, actually, that in half an hour he has a dentist appointment. Half an hour? Yeah, 11 o'clock, your dental oh, appointment. And it's half past 10 now. <laughs> when I said about what you've got to do today and I looked up at my clock, I thought... You'll have to sort the washing out. I well, can't. I will. I'm staying here, aren't I? So we've already discussed that. I don't think the washing is going to be the major issue of the day, do you? So, uh, Dawn, we've got to dive something. It's just... Uh, it's, it's an easy way of looking at it, Dawn, but it's hard when you're going through it. So, and it's... Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah, I, I, I feel... I've refused treatment for personal reasons. That's fine. Everyone has a right to... 
I mean, uh, Steve chose to have treatment. I mean, basically, he's here 10 years on. If he hadn't have had treatment, he would have died 10 years ago. So he chose to have treatment because, yeah, it's his choice and it's your choice as well. So... Uh, right, let's move on. Ollie, do I still like squibbles? Of course I love squibbles, Ollie. We all know that squibbles and I have two things in common. Balls. No, uh, <laughs> nuts. I got a, I, I, my punchline I got wrong. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn, and to you as well. Uh, I, got, I, got, I got my punchline wrong. <laughs> uh, Patrick, you've been skiatos in Greece, 28 beaches, but nothing more to do. I know. This is the thing with islands, isn't it? I got a bit like that in Ibiza. Um, once you've done all the beaches, you've been, there isn't a lot of cultural things. There's a few museums and stuff like that in Ibiza. But that's why I decided not to live there anymore. So, but there you go. Wayne the Fat Man, good morning to you, sir. How are you? And Callum. <laughs> You're laughing at me this morning. <laughs> It'll leave instructions for you guys to inherit the gold Nancy drain. Okay, Dawn, thank you. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go into a subscriber-only live, all right?